I have a full-time job and I'm getting started on Amazon after hours how do you how do you know what things I should be paying attention on without getting overwhelmed okay um, yeah I mean knowing what you need to focus on is, is key in this um, you don't want to get bogged down in, in 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 things that you know a computer can do um, because you, you, you kind of need to be doing the stuff that's actually going to make a difference on, on revenue and, and building the business. So I think um, having some kind of a um, an automation software for doing the stuff that you need to do, which is like, you know, answering uh, customer emails and that kind of thing. You want to have those things in place. You want to have something that gives you the metrics that you need, um, which could be, um, Helium 10, it could be managed by stats, it could be, you know, uh, there's a number of tools out there that uh, will do this stuff for you, right? Um, and they all have pros and cons, And but you need something because you don't want to be spending a bunch of time going into um, Seller Central, finding the data for today, putting it into a spreadsheet, making right. a graph, um, you know, uh, Amazon won't give you the data that you need, um, they'll only give it to you in aggregate. Um, uh, the, well, I mean, the data will be there, but it's hard to put it into any kind of a format. That, it's a bunch that, of CSV files. Yeah, it's yeah. a bunch of files, and or it's a bunch of tables. Um, and you want to be able to see trends. Are things getting better? Are they getting worse? Um, or you want to see stuff broken down by you know each product. If you have, if you're selling a hundred products, you need to know which ones are doing well because that's where you want to focus your energy, and yeah. you want to know which ones are doing the worst because those are the ones you may want to discontinue or right. you know just do a sale and get rid of them, and you know not not have them occupy attention and energy and all of that. Um, and uh, uh, you know sometimes you find that something is just not doing great, and um, and you can't really make it you know, profitable or scale it. Um, and then the best thing to do is just sell it at, you know, cost and get your money back right. um, on that. And now use it to invest in a product that's doing far better, right? right. So so being able to see those kinds of things um, is important. And, and so a software package that, that, that handles that and breaks that down for you is, is important. And the other thing is knowing your key performance indicators. Um, which kind of tells you um, in, in maybe three or four different graphs how your account is doing. You want to make sure that you're being seen, so that's impressions. Um, you want to see, you know, uh, how well you're doing on, on turning views and or impressions into sales, so that's your conversion rate. And uh, you want to know are you actually making any money, so that's your profits. Um, so those three numbers will tell you a lot, and that's something. I mean, looking at three numbers every day or three graphs is something you can do very rapidly, and then you can okay. So impressions is hurting. Um, you know that now you need to look at you know either your images or did your listing get turned off? Did Amazon suspend your listing, yep. or um, or is, did something happen with your advertising campaign? Right. So looking at just a, a, a three or four different numbers like that, key performance indicators that tell you about you know a, a big area of your business, how it's doing, um, saves you a lot of time, tells you what to focus on and handle, so that you know if you're spending two hours a day on, on the business, you, you're right, using you that two use hours that effectively. Wisely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, and there's uh, the the key performance indicators that we have inside of Managed by Stats. You know, so you can get a kind of a, at a glance view: um, sessions, conversions, profit, and reviews. Right. So you can see if you're getting impressions, getting people coming to your listing, whether that's from advertising or organic traffic. Um, are you converting on those people coming to your listing or not? Uh, are you making profit on those conversions? And of course, if you have bad reviews, all of those are going to go down, right? So you want to make sure that you're looking at those four key things, and those really cover every single aspect of your business. And every other metrics or or st uh, stat that you see on Amazon is going to be a sub stat to those four. Um, and those, you know, one of those going down will let you know what area of your business you need to actually jump into. So um, definitely key key to know which things to look for. Uh, and have a way to see those uh, by your whole brand, by your uh, groups of products or individual products.